Entered our third week to feature a very remarkable woman nominee. This week, we take a look at a social work assistant who goes above and beyond for her clients. Corning Bureau Chief Ariel Salk has more. Good evening, Ariel. Thank you, and good evening, Jordan and Zach. Melanie Rare has truly made an impact on the community. She has worked in several different settings over the years, but her passion to help and protect shines through the years of dedication. She continues to be there for the people years after they are no longer her clients. And for Rare, this just seems as part of her duty. We spoke to her and those close to her to get a better look at the remarkable work that she has done. Melanie Rare is a social work assistant at Horseheads Middle School with the help of her very furry friend. Oh. Out, yeah, I don't care if you're tired. It's really kind of magical to watch a kid who's upset, who's angry, sit down and hold him. Rare is bubbly, smart, and very passionate about what she does. I feel like if I had wanted to be a CEO at Pepsi, I could be a CEO at Pepsi, but what I really wanted to do was have some meaning and help people on their own journey. She's funny, and she's not afraid to call you out, and a lot of times people need that. Her open door policy continues even after they are no longer her clients. When we stop working together and when we're disengaging, my response to pretty much everybody is, if you need me, call me and I will respond. She was my case manager from my freshman year of high school until I graduated. Well, when I graduated, I wasn't her client anymore, so we could just be friends. She drove me uh, to and from Ithaca every week for years. It did help me get to college. Throughout college, I'd text her if I need somebody to talk to. She goes out of her way, she's always listening, and she hears what the kids say. She doesn't just listen. It's natural for her. She's up, up for the task. She'll do whatever she needs to do to help these people through. She's helped me through a whole lot of rough situations that I've been through. She's pretty much helped me in every aspect of my life in one way or another. She was and is always somebody that I know I can call if I need something. People who know Rare knows that she will fight for her clients. A lot of advocating. She has the ability to stand up to high authority. She's gone to courts and she's gone to judges. People get used to not having a voice and so by being a voice for them, you're also kind of teaching them that they can be a voice for themselves. Uh, and that's what brings about change. There were some traumas that we all went through in this work. I mean, it, it's hard, you know, when a young person commits suicide, that type of thing. Um, and I just saw her stand up and say, we need to do better. And she wasn't afraid to just go to administration and say, look, we need to think about what's happening here and what are we going to do about this. It took a lot of courage because with a big bureaucracy, you know, people try to fall in line and, and Melanie's not one to just fall in line. She's going she's gonna to stand up for what's right and, and do the right thing. But that's all in a day's work for Rare. So when she was notified that her husband had nominated her for the Remarkable Women Award, she was in disbelief. Oh, I thought it was spam. <laughs> but it came as no surprise to everyone else. She's a remarkable woman. She's a remarkable wife, a remarkable mother. I've always thought she was remarkable in many ways. She does not it, 100%. She helped turn my life around completely, and I'm forever thankful. Reporting in Horseheads, Ariel Salt, 18 News.